For this lesson, um, we're going to be learning FOIL. This is probably the only thing you guys can go home and you tell your parents you did FOIL today and every single one of your parents will be like, oh, I do remember doing that. They don't remember anything from high school, but everybody for some reason remembers FOIL. FOIL is used for multiplying polynomials and it helps you to remember what order to multiply in or to make sure you hit all your terms. So step one for the F is you're going to multiply the first term by the other first term. Bless you. The second step, the O stands for the outer two terms. Third step, the I, you're going to multiply the inner two terms. And last, you multiply the last term by the other last term. You go home tonight, tell your parents you did FOIL, they'll remember first, outer, inner, last. They probably won't remember what it's used for, but they'll vaguely remember it. So it's used for multiplying polynomials. Okay, example one. We're going to multiply x plus 5 times x plus 2. Okay, so first, you're going to multiply the first term by the other first term. So there's two binomials right now, or two polynomials. You're going to multiply the first term by the other first term. First term by first term. x times x is x squared. Next, we're going to do the outer two terms. So the outside ones, x times 2. So you're going to take the outside term times the other outside term. x times 2 is 2x's, positive 2x's. Next, I'm going to do the inner two terms. So the inside two terms. So the 5 and the x. 5 times x, that's positive 5x. And finally, we're going to do the last term by the last term. So multiply the last term of the 5 times the other last term, which is the 2. Positive 5 times positive 2 is positive 10. So first term by first term, outer terms, inner terms, and last term by last term. Okay, the last step you need to do is see if you can combine like terms. So now you're going to see if you can add anything together. So x squared, there's no other x squared. There's an x and an x, so those can, bless you, those can be combined. So I have x squared. I have a 2x and a 5x. 2x plus 5x is 7x. And then I have a plus 10. And your final answer. So FOIL is just used to help you remind, remember to multiply each term by each term. Okay, let's try another one. Two X plus four times X plus three. So take your first term, 
and multiply it by the other first term. So 2x times x is 2x squared. x times x is x squared. Okay, then we do the outer term, so 2x times 3. So a positive 2x times a positive 3, that's going to be positive 6x. Now I'm going to do the inner terms. 4 times x, that's a positive 4 times a positive x, so positive 4x. And then the last terms, 4 times 3. Positive 4 times positive 3 is positive 12. And then look to see if you can combine like terms. These ones can be combined, 6x and 4x. So I have 2x squared. 6x plus 4x is 10x. And then I still have a plus 12. So it's written in standard form. So the by degree, the leading coefficient is a 2. The whole thing has a degree of 2 because that's the biggest degree out of all of them. Okay, questions on these two yet so far before you do some by yourself? Okay. I'm actually going to have two that you're going to do on your own. So I know there's only one on the paper if you're looking at the notes online. There will be two to do. x plus 1 times x minus 2. Go ahead and multiply those binomials. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 1 times x is 1x or x. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Combine these two like terms. Negative 2 and a positive 1 make negative 1x's or x squared minus x minus 2 is the best way to write it. Raise your hand if you did get that one right. Okay, Okay, we're going to do another one. This one is not on the paper if you're looking at the paper. x plus 6 and x minus 4. Multiply x plus 6 and x minus 4. Okay, x squared minus 4x plus 6x minus 24. I can combine my negative 4x and my positive 6x to be x squared plus 2x minus 24. Just be careful, you have to you have a positive 6 times a negative 4, so make sure you have minus 24 at the end. That's the biggest issue I see is the symbols. Okay, questions so far? Anything on this so far? Okay, we're gonna move on then to example two. <clears throat> x squared plus 3 times x plus 2. Okay, first I'm going to multiply first term by the first term. x squared times x. Remember yesterday we were writing stuff out, so if that helps you, x squared is really x times x, then times x. So x squared times x, that's x cubed, because I'm multiplying it three times. Then I'm going to take x squared, I'm going to do my outer term, so x squared times 2. So again, if it helps you to write that out, that's x squared is x times x, times the number 2. x times x times 2, well that's 2 times x squared. So, and it's a positive, because it's a positive times a positive. So it's plus 2x squared. It's 2 times x times x. Okay, then we're going to do the inner terms. 3 times x, 3 times positive 3 times positive x is positive 3x. And then lastly, we do the last term times the other times the other last term. Positive 3 times positive 2. Positive times a positive is plus sign. 3 times 2 is 6. OK, 
Here I have a degree of 3, a degree of 2, a degree of 1, and a degree of 0. Those don't go together. There's no like terms there. So that's your final answer. You cannot combine them. Even though they have an x, they have to have the same exponent as well to be able to combine. Okay, next one, 2b. Three x squared minus two x times x plus five. Okay, first term times the other first term. Three times x times x times x. Three times x times x times x. So that is three x cubed. Then I do my outer terms. So 3x squared times positive 5. So a positive 3 and a positive 5, when I multiply them, that'll be a positive. So put a plus sign in between them. 3x squared times 5. Well, you can multiply the 3 times the 5 and get 15, and we still have x squared. Because really, this said 3 times x times x times 5. So 3 times 5 is 15, and we still had x times x, so x squared. Okay, next we're going to do the inner terms. And keep in mind that 2, it really has a negative in front of it. Keep the symbol in front of it. So the inner terms, negative 2x times x. A negative times a positive is negative, so put a minus sign. 2 times x times x. 2 times x times x, that's 2x squared. And then finally, the last term times the other last term. A negative times a positive will be negative. 2x times 5. So 2 times x times 5. So you can do your 2 times 5, that's 10, and there's still an x there. Okay, we're looking to combine like terms. I do have like terms because I have x squared. So I have 3x cubed. I have a positive 15x squared and a minus 2x squared. If I have positive 15 of those and minus 2 of them. 15 take away 2, I have a positive 13 of those x squared. And I still have a minus 10x. Okay, next one. So only combine them if the letter is raised to the same power. Okay, now we're going to do some on your own. x squared plus 3 times x plus 6. Go ahead and multiply those. Okay, check your answers. X cubed plus, how much push am I on? There I am. 6x squared plus 3x plus 18. These don't, there's nothing to combine. X cubed does not go with x squared, does not go with an x, and obviously doesn't go with a constant. Okay, here's another one to work on. This one is not in the notes, so you'll just have to write it down. X squared minus 6 times x minus 4. And be careful, you have a minus and you have another minus, so make sure to pay attention to your symbols. Okay, here's your final answer. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 6x plus 24. Questions there on any of that so far? Okay, then we're going to go on to example three. Now it gets a little bit longer. What is it? Same thing, yeah. Just more numbers now. 
Okay, we have x plus 2 times, Caleb, I hope you're taking notes, x squared <coughs> minus 5x plus 4. So I have a binomial, and now this time, instead of multiplying it by another binomial, now I'm multiplying it by a trinomial. Okay, here you're going to take the first term and you're going to multiply it by everything in that second polynomial. So in that second polynomial, there's three terms. So take x and multiply it by each one of those. Okay, x times x squared. So I have 1x times x times x. So I'm multiplying three of the x's, so that's x cubed. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 5x. So I have a positive times a negative, so that's going to be a minus. x times 5x. So that's x times 5 times x. So to rewrite that, that's 5x squared. And then I have x times 4, a positive times a positive, so I'm going to bring down a positive. x times 4 is 4x. Okay, I'm done with my x in front. Now take the next term. That's a positive 2. Remember to keep the symbol in front of it. Multiply that by each term in the next polynomial. So 2 times x squared is positive 2x squared. 2 times negative 5x. So a positive times a negative is negative. 2 times 5x's is 10x's. And then positive 2 times positive 4, that's positive 8. And now you're combining like terms. If it helps, go through and circle each term. So every time you get to another plus or minus sign, stop. That's a new term. The symbol stays with the number that's after it. So there's all my terms. Remember, we're going to write in standard form, so write with the biggest degree first. It looks like the biggest degree is the degree of 3, so x cubed. Look and see if there's any other x cubes. There's not. So put x cubed first. Then we're going to go by our 2s, our x squareds. There's two of the x squareds. So I have negative 5 of those x squareds, and I have positive 2 of the x squared. So if I have negative 5 and I have positive 2, negative 5 plus 2, that means I have negative 3 of those x squareds. So right now I'm just adding. I'm combining like terms. Next I'm going to combine my x's. I have a 4x and a negative 10x. I have 4 of those x's and negative 10 of those x's. 4 take away 10 is negative 6, so I have negative 6 of those x's. And finally, my constant always goes last. There's no other constants to combine it with, so just plus 8. Okay, let's try another one. Three x minus four times negative two x squared plus five x minus six. Take the first term and multiply it by each thing in the second polynomial, by each term. There's three terms there. It's going to be important that you're writing neatly. Some of you are really messy and you're not going to be able to read your own handwriting. 3x times negative 2x squared. A positive times a negative is negative. 3 times 2 is 6. x times x squared, I'm multiplying 3x's, so x cubed. Okay, next, 3x times 5x. A positive times a positive. Put a plus sign down. 3 times 5 is 15. x times x is x squared. 
Next, 3x times negative 6. A positive times a negative is negative. 3x times negative 6. 3 times 6 is 18, and I still have that x. Okay, I finished with my 3x. Okay, now be careful, there's a minus 4. So every time you're doing this multiplying, make sure you're multiplying negative 4 by each term. Okay, negative 4 times negative 2x squared. Negative times a negative is positive, so put a plus sign down. 4 times 2x squared, so 4 times 2 is 8, and I still have x squared. Now negative 4 times positive 5x. A negative times a positive is negative. 4 times 5 is 20x's. And last, negative 4 times negative 6. A negative times a negative is positive. 4 times 6 is 24. Okay, now go ahead and combine your like terms. If it helps, circle each term. If that helps your brain to see them. Put it in standard form. The biggest degree goes first. So x cubed is going to go first. So negative 6x cubed. Then my x squareds. I have 15 of those and I have 8 of them. So together I have 23 of those x squareds. Next go my x's. I have negative 18 x's and I have negative 20 x's, so all together I have negative 38 of those x's. And then I have a plus 24 at the end. So this is standard form because it went in order of degrees. There's four terms. The leading coefficient, that's going to come up on a test soon. Your leading coefficient is negative 6. The degree of the entire polynomial is whatever the biggest degree is. So it has a degree of 3. Okay, let's do some on your own or with your friend. Three x plus one times x cubed plus four x squared minus seven. Go ahead and multiply that. If I have 12 x's and another one, uh, I'm sorry, if I have 12 x cubed and I have another 1 x cubed, I have 13 of those x cubed. Okay, your final answer written in standard form. 3 x to the fourth plus 13 x cubed plus 4x squared minus 21x minus 7. Questions on so far what we've done? We're going to do one more. Any questions on this one, though? I know that was a long one. I'll have you look at this in a second. Let's check your, it's you'll have to check your work here. Okay, number, or this one isn't on your paper, actually. 4x squared minus 4 times 2x plus 1. Go ahead and multiply that. 2x, 4 times 2 is 8. x squared times x is x cubed. And then 4x squared times 1 is just 4x squared. Then take negative 4 
times 2x, that's negative 8x. And then finally, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then those can't be combined. x cubed and x squared don't go together, they don't go with an x, and they don't go with a constant. So there's no combining like terms here. Questions on those ones? Okay, tomorrow we will finish by doing word problems, and then you'll have your exit ticket tomorrow.